must be acquainted with Laota and the forthcoming Philippines participation in the much awaited Expo 2021. Royal Pineda and Marian Rosses have become household names connected to Bangkota and the Philippines at the Expo. Similarly, concepts like cultural sustainability, permeability, connectivity have been expounded quite expansively by both Royal and Marian to many varied audiences here in the UAE and back in Manila. <clears throat> Man is nature. Nature is peace. Variety of the world and our gift to the world are recurring messages that have been spoken and written about in media releases and at events. Tonight, allow me to share with you the untold journey of Bangkota and introduce a word that to me is the most significant, purposeful, and meaningful description of how the Philippines came to be at the Expo 2020 Dubai. This word is complexity. Complexity is defined as a state or quality of having many interrelated parts or aspects, and in fact is synonymous most often than not with complication, with problem, difficulty, intricacies, convolution, and entanglement. Creating Bangkota was complicated and a perfect case of complexity, starting from the moment the critical decision to participate was made by the Philippine government. From the bidding and awarding of the project concept to Royal Pineda, from translating the design idea of Royal into a narrative curated by Marion Rosses that required tremendous mental effort to comprehend, then merging that complex narrative into art and architecture, all the way into digging foundation and building a physical structure right in the desert of Dubai. The project was very complicated from the very start with objections to a Philippine commitment from certain sectors in government, including me actually when I was still with SITEM, to a ping-pong transfer of responsibility over the project with no agency except the Department of Foreign Affairs wanting to endorse a Philippine participation. For more than a year, the project went from DFA to the Department of Tourism, then the DTI, and then back to tourism until the DFA secured the President's approval in 2018 to commit to the Expo for 2020 Dubai with SITEM as lead agency. Project management was later transferred from SITEM to the DTI under my office. The Philippines' participation in Expo was likewise one of many complex firsts in the history of our country's participation in World Expos. The biggest plot area, the biggest and tallest building that we have ever built and designed. The first time we broke ground and built from ground up. From an administrative point of view, the Expo project was the first overseas design and build project of the DTI and of the government, which necessitated testing the yet untried procurement process for overseas projects. It was likewise the first time that we established a Bangkota creative community that involved thousands of characters and talents, both in Manila and Dubai, in both lead and supporting roles to deliver the project. A complex beginning, complex architecture and narrative, complex characters, amid the complication of the pandemic which created the perfect scenario for a more complex system of managing an Expo participation. The hardscape complexity of this project involved 1,283 workers on site, working 672 days of hard construction work and 337,630 man hours, and ultimately, and thankfully, with zero fatalities and no injuries. The softscape complexity of the Bangkota creative community involved about 14 creative sectors, if I'm counting right, from architecture, visual arts, choreography, music, 
animation, game development, performing arts, food, crafts, and many, many more. We assembled and orchestrated a little over 2,000 artists, talents, and skilled workers, both here in Manila and Dubai, including suppliers based in Korea, Italy, Belgium, and the United States. The Bapata community will now expand and grow like a coral with the mobilization and full participation of the Filipino community here in the UAE. We welcome and embrace them and you into our Bapata community. On October 1, we will open our doors to the public and you, the Filipino community here in the UAE, will be our very first visitors. As you enter and experience what your Bangkota community has created for the Expo, please remember, please keep in mind the complexity of delivering this experience. The thousands of nameless and faceless workers, designers, artists, artisans, as well as government personnel, both here and from Manila, working together as one to bring to life the Philippines' participation in Expo 2020 Dubai. There are only two reactions to any experience, like or dislike, yes or no. We aim for like, of course, and a resounding yes. And, of hope, and we hope for your understanding and empathy if we have somehow missed on any detail or on anything that is problematic or caused you any inconvenience. I apologize on behalf of everyone. <laughs> for the Philippines, therefore, complexity signifies more than complications and difficulties, more than problems, more than intricacies. It refers to diversity and a high degree of sophistication that produced a distinct and unique output from extraordinary people, from everybody who were involved in this project. Ladies and gentlemen, from here on, therefore, when you think of Bangkota, when you say, I am Bangkota, remember, you are part and parcel of a complex Bangkota community where disruption and creativity and unity in the diversity prevail. Thank you and good evening. Thank you, Ms. Ross. I think after that speech, I will say I am Sharina and I am Bangkota with much more dignity and pride. And for the launching of the TikTok song and dance,